guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do my nails at home using some Dollar Tree glitter and some dip powder that I bought on Amazon. Now this is how I do it at home. You don't have to do exactly what I do, but this is how I do it. Let's get started. So here I already took off my nails, my previous nails. I bought these little clips on Amazon. I will link down below all the items that I'm using, including these clips, but you just need to use 100% acetone, either cotton or whatever you use, or whatever you feel comfortable with to soak off your previous gels, dips, acrylics, whatever. I found this little scraping tool also to be very handy. Um, it comes in a little two-piece set, which again I will link, and you just scrape off the dip powder. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Now, it may be too rough for some people, but I've been doing this for so much, so long, that I just do the way I do. But again, I'm not a nail tech. I have not gone to school to study nail anything, so bear with me. <laughs> this is how I do my nails because we were in quarantine and I have a newborn and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> So I do have a nail drill, again, bought on Amazon, and I bought separate drill tips for them. Again, I will link it all down below for you. And I'm just going to try to drill and sand off any part of dip powder that I had previously. I do use an old toothbrush, in this case, not old. I bought one from Dollar Tree, again, scrape off and cleaned the nail bits. And I have two sets, one right here and the other one that came with the drill. Yes, I'm using a broken makeup brush. Guess what? I'm going to use it. And now I have clean hands. I also bought these tips from Amazon. You can buy a whole acrylic nail, but I prefer the tips because I do use a clear dip powder so you can see that it's a little natural. I have my nail glue and my nail clipper. And I also have like a little wooden stick so I can clean up everything and make sure it's nice and clear. So in this clear box, I don't know if you can really see, I wrote the numbers and what fingers these nail tips fit the best. It saves a lot of time, trust me. But I would write pinky, middle, pointer, thumb, etc. There's also a little empty cubby that I stick the nail glue in. So while I'm putting the nails on, I can put the open nail glue tube in there and it's like easy access. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just individually put some nail glue into the nail as such. And then I put it in the little cubby hole as you can see. And I'm just going to press firmly on my nail onto my real nail. Once the nail is fully on, you're going to grab the wooden stick, clean up the edges on the sides, on the bottom, everywhere to make it nice and clean. Now you're going to repeat this step with all the nails on both hands, or you can just do one hand at a time. That is up to you.
as you can see all my nails are all done now it's time to cut them if you want to you do you this little handy dandy tool I found again on Amazon I know I'm a prime member I can't help it and they have great deals and they're great products so just put them to the length that you want or again leave them as is Now all my nails are nice and cut, as you can see there. I'm going to go ahead and grab my drill and the tip of the drill. Again, I don't know exactly which drill bit goes with the drill at the moment, but again, for the gazillionth time, I'm not a nail tech. This is how I do my nails, always have, and I like the way they are. So what I do is I just sand down or drill down my natural nail and the acrylic nail so there can be a nice adhesion with the dip powder. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what they do at the nail salon. And this makes it a nice even surface so when I put on the base coat and I dip my nail, it's smooth and it's all level and it's beautiful. done with the drilling I just grab my broken makeup brush and just dust everything off all my nails just like that make sure you recycle that's what I did with the makeup brush <laughs> so now here you see I have all of my stuff that I use this is the two-in-one base coat and top coat I don't know why it's an activator kit but it's a base and top base and top coat and that is my clear dip powder see clear I like using clear because you can do so much with this little thing you can even paint your nails if you want and then put a clear dip powder layer on and it's just as good you have so many uses for it obviously I have my nail file my beautiful handy dandy broken makeup brush my stick And then you're just going to make sure that that is nice and easy to open because when you're dipping, you just want it to be nice and there. And on the top, I have my glitters that I bought from the Dollar Tree. You'll see what I'm going to do after. So what you do is you're going to put a nice thin layer of this two-in-one top coat as such. 
Now you want to be nice and even with this, and then you just dip it in your powder, and then for a couple seconds to make sure it adheres, I take the back of my nail file and I just tap. As you can see, I didn't go all the way to my cuticle. It's because I just want a nice thin layer, um, and then I can just sand it down to make sure I don't get that lifting afterwards. So just do the same thing with all the other nails. Nice thin layer. Everywhere this polish goes, or this um, base goes, the powder goes. You dip, a couple of seconds, and then you take it out and tap. These are my nails completely done, both hands. Um, I just did the clear coat. Uh, from here, you can make it your own. Like I said before, you can use nail polish, paint it, and then put another clear top coat, and you're done. No, but me, no. I need glitter. So this is what I did. I went to the Dollar Tree. Yes, the Dollar Tree. Got some glitter. All different types of colors. You can do whatever your heart desires but I just got a bunch of these glitters and I'm going to use it on my nails. I know, instead of spending so much money on glitter dip, I just use regular glitter and then seal it with clear dip. So it's really easy guys. I prefer the fine, fine um, glitter because if you use the chunky, it's gonna be really bumpy and that's not pretty. But you know, to each his own. <laughs> so what I do is whatever you want the glitter, you just apply it to the nail. I'm going to try my little ombre. Ombre? Ombre? Ombre. No, ombre is a man. Ombre. Ombre effect <laughs> to my nail. So I'm just going to put it on the tip of the nail only. I'm going to dip it. As you can see, that's really not an ombre effect. So I just use my finger and just smooth it over and tap the access. Make sure all that glitter is well on my nail. And then you will see, once it hardens, I will use the drill and make sure it does like an ombre effect. Okay, now that all of my nails are done, I'm going to grab whatever you like. You know, you can grab whatever you like. I sometimes grab a toothbrush because it has stiff bristles to remove the glitter towards the nail bed so it looks like ombre effect but ombre ombre gosh what the heck is wrong with me anyway you can also grab a drill and make sure it you know some of it comes off but that's kind of my little effect see and you can change it and make it just the way you like so now that my nails are done on both hands, I am ready to put the clear dip powder on top just to seal it in pretty much. You can't just leave it as is because all the glitter will go everywhere and it's a little rough. You don't want that. You're almost making like a glitter sandwich, dip glitter sandwich, something like that. So you're going to do the same thing as you did before. Sorry, the angle's quite bad, but I had a lot of glitter on my bed and I'm very OCD on cleanliness here. So you're going to put a nice thin layer on the nail as such, and you are going to dip just like you did before. Now, some people like putting this clear powder on a separate little area because of the fact that there can be colored glitter getting into the clear powder but in my case I will always always use glitter on my nails 
without a doubt. Without a doubt. <laughs> now, as you can see, I put like little stones on my ring finger. I wanted to try something new to see if it worked. So if it doesn't work, I'll let you know to not do it. But again, I literally went to the Dollar Tree, went in the nail section, and I saw these little, um, I guess, gems. I wanted to see if, you know, they would stick right. So what I did is I just stuck them right on, right at, after I put a nice thin layer of the base and top coat, almost like a glue, and I'm going to seal it in, just like I did with the glitter. And you know what? As of this recording, two weeks later, these jewels or gems are still on my nail. I'm not a huge fan on how I placed them, but I just wanted to see how well it worked. have it guys these are my nails afterwards I love them I like playing around with the colors doing my own thing again make it your own make it unique to you because that's what makes it beautiful thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys bye